Mathematica 8 will do for probability and statistics what early Mathematica and Mathematica 1 did for calculus. And by that I mean it's high level, it's conceptual, you can often work and ask the questions and answer the questions right as you think about them. As Director of Research and Development at Wolfram Research for Mathematica, I think it's key that we build strong support for probability and statistics. It's foundational for many areas of science and technology when you need to reason about uncertainty. That might be model uncertainty, it might be uncertainty of actions and events. And there are many real-world scenarios where you want to model uncertainty. For instance, the wind. Let's say that you run a wind farm. You want to still be able to predict how much it's going to produce over a month or over a year. You can do that with a random model. Let's say that you're a financial company and you're worried about certain kinds of risk. For instance, you know, of late we've seen defaults being a big deal. And so, for instance, let's say you have a credit card and what's the risk? What's the probability that someone's going to default? Some fraction of users will. You can model that with a distribution. What if you have a cell phone that needs to communicate with its cell tower? There are all kinds of obstacles in between that bounces off buildings and it fades over time. You can model that with a distribution. We work through problems in all these areas and many more. And in every area there's a specific set of models or distributions that are used that are known to work well. We take and brought them all together so you have a complete modeling system in Mathematica. And in terms of coverage, it's substantially more than has been ever supported in any software system. So we, we're proud of that and it makes for a really usable and useful system. All in all, there are many different ways in which you can use the probability and statistics framework in Mathematica 8. To outline some of the key areas, there are multiple ways in which you can get data. Um, you can use import from files, there are hundreds of file formats, databases or built-in data sources. Once you have your data, you want to explore it and understand it. Well, one important way to explore and understand data is to perhaps compute descriptive statistics of it or visualize it. For Mathematica 8, we've substantially extended the statistical visualization functions capabilities. And so, for instance, you can get smooth histograms or smooth curves of, of uh, densities. You can do quantile plots, which tells you how well a data set fits a particular model. You have box whisker and distribution charts, which allows you to compare multiple distributions of things, and so on. You can use your data to build a model, a probabilistic model, a distribution. You can use parametric models, and you can automatically derive that model from data with a distribution, or you can use non-parametric models. These are things like if you think of a histogram. The histogram looks like a distribution, well we made it work like one. You can generate random numbers, you can answer probability, you can compute probabilities and expectations, you can answer any question you could ask for a parametric distribution. Or you can use derived ones. These are distributions that are built out of other distributions. There are mixtures, there are copulas, there are transformations, and so on. And so there's a rich toolkit to extend both parametric and non-parametric distribution to an even richer modeling class. Another important area is hypothesis tests. Before you draw a lot of conclusions, you want to show that it's really a good model. So these are supporting evidence that it actually is a good model or it isn't, in which case you need to reject it and, and, and build a better one. Once you have your distribution, you want to answer questions. You want to do analysis on it. And um, there are high-level functions such as probability and expectation, and there are about 35 others that allows you to do that kind of analysis. Once you get your results, that's just the beginning of another journey because the conclusions typically have implications. That might mean capital requirements for a bank, it might mean uh, insurance rates for an insurance company, it might mean disks on hands for a data center manager. It have all kinds of implications, but thanks to Mathematica you should be able to trust your results and you will be able to get them quicker.